Hi, this is Mr. Richmond, and today we're going to look at how to make an appropriate bar graph using Excel. If you recall from our previous video, we just put in some data using the month and average high temperature in the state of Connecticut. And I've got my Excel open, ready to go. I've got all my data put in as well. I don't have to worry about plugging in labels or titles quite yet. I can do that later once I have the graph made. So just like with the data table, I'm going to have my independent variable in the first column. The dependent variable, which is the temperature in this case, is going to be in the second column. I can then go ahead and highlight all of that data. Go to the top tab, click insert. Go to the chart. This is going to be a bar graph because this is a qualitative set of data or a characteristic. So I can choose to any of these bar graphs. That one looks good. And from here I can go ahead and make my title, label my axes as well. So the average high temperatures in the state of Connecticut. My x-axis and my y-axis, x on the horizontal, y on the vertical, I can add those titles by clicking this little plus sign, top right hand corner, select axes titles, and from there I can directly go ahead and label my axes. So on the x-axis, that's my independent variable, which is the month. My y-axis is going to be the dependent variable, which is the temperature. Don't forget about your unit's measurement, which in this case is going to be Fahrenheit. And there's your appropriate bar graph. I hope this is helpful.